Tefu by bringing up the fishy smell update. HTTPS www.reddit.com slash r slash tifu slash comments slash 110q5m5 slash tifu be bringing up the fish's mail slash utm source equals share and utm medium equals ios app and utm name equals ios smf link to my original post anyways hi there idk if anybody would care about an update or not but we've made up Maybe some more context could clear stuff up. 1. I've told her about the Reddit post and she's chill with it and told me to update actually. She helped me make this list. 2. The reason I posted onto Reddit is because I needed advice. I told my mom and she said just wait but I was freaking out. 3. Pretty sure I have undiagnosed ADHD, dad and brother have it and I'm trying to get a referral but it's taking forever, and I talk impulsively all the time so this isn't the first time something like this has happened. 4. I was talking out of my ass and actually forgot everything I said. She said I just kept going on about it. I think I was trying to be comedic relief and ended up making it worse, she said looking back it's kinda funny. 5. She's a really sensitive person, HSP? So I know I should have been more gentle bringing it up, but I just didn't know how to. 6. She told me she's been dealing with this ever since she started, at 10 years old, so this has become normal to her, also her mom gaslighting her. 7. I took advice and brought it up gently so we searched up BV and the symptoms do match up. 8. Her mom is a narcissist so when she said something she thought she was lying slash got yelled at. At least she got an appointment? For a checkup not for the BV thing. 9. Our moms don't know each other. 10. They use Medicaid so getting treatment isn't exactly easy. 11. The reason I thought it was my dog is because she's in heat RN. 12. The reason I just responded oh is because I have problems with social awkwardness slash social anxiety and don't know how to apologize after something happens. Most of the time I just try and change the subject to not cause any more discomfort. I'm in therapy so I'm trying to fix this. 13. I've never experienced something like this so I don't understand what it's like nor how to go about it. 14. The reason it caught me so off guard is because we've been hanging out most of the day going out shopping, in the car, etc., and I didn't smell anything at all. She also uses tampons, don't know if this is relevant or not. TL, DR we've made up and everything is fine. Re, number 10 depends on your state and location but there are options. Look up the nearest Planned Parenthood or sexual health clinic and feel free to DM me for help with this. Don't be too hard on yourself. I think both of you handled this really well. 1000 plus post karma is not to be sniffed at. Sorry bad choice of words there. Bro go find a psychiatrist. Tell him slash her about your ADHD symptoms. Then the psychiatrist will send you to get tested for it. Get your dog neutered. I'm happy to hear things are moving forward in a positive direction. As others have mentioned and shown treatment should be accessible one way or another. Reddit has your back now. Dogs in heat do get smelly. Mine actually just came out of estrus and the last few days were absurd this time. They can get BV also by the way. So if this is an issue when not in heat. It could be BV or any other number of reasons like rolling around in something smelly or dead. I'm not a doctor. If you suspect you have ADHD and have a family history then you have a higher than normal likelihood that you do. Regardless of medical diagnosis, there are ways to deal with it by calming the mind with breathing exercises or meditation. It is amazing what a bit of structured breathing has done to help me at times. If you haven't already, showing her the Reddit post might be helpful too. Edit. I'm dumb. Good luck. You are a great friend. If you enjoyed this video, 
please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.